Main event, Brizango versus Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. So, Brizango, very little bullshit last week. A little dancing on the way to the ring, but no wacky gimmicks, no crazy entrance. They're just out here to fight. And Burch and Lorcan are out there, and they do some stuff for a few minutes. There's just a commercial at a random point. We come back, all four dudes are brawling on the floor. The challenge, challengers do the half-crab cross-face combo. And I don't know if they were watching Retro Raw with us, but it's almost the exact same thing Jericho and Benoit did to Austin. So they start doing near falls. There never was a heat segment. Just two, two, two teams taking turns doing stuff. And then Fandango goes up to the top rope when a masked man run out, runs out of nowhere and pushes him off the top rope to the floor. Ref didn't see this. Birch and Lorcan apparently didn't see this. But Tyler Breeze saw it. He is very concerned. He's trying to get the ref's attention to this. But then Danny hits a low blow on Tyler Breeze. They hit him with an elevated DDT and pin him. Birch and Lorcan, your new tag team champions. It was fine. My, my big question is why, if Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan had this ace in the hole of this masked guy who was going to interfere and help them win, why did they take 15 minutes to do it? Dude, because it's pro wrestling. I know. Well, this happens all the time. And I ask every time. I know. I am a huge fan of Pat McAfee as a character. I don't think that he should be overexposed in the ring. I think an occasional match here or there, like the one he had with Adam Cole, would be more than sufficient. Or I guess he could do occasional six mans. Sure. Here. Actually that's a great idea. And they can they can hide they can accentuate his strengths and hide his weaknesses. Yes, yes. What a shocking what yeah. a shocking idea. But anyway, he's great with these guys because these guys are good wrestlers. Yes. yes. They're not great talkers. No. He's going to be the voice and the personality he's the best talker. of the team. The masked man is Pat McAfee, by the way. We should say that. No, oh, you didn't mention that? Yeah, I it's Pat McAfee, that. everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, I was a big fan of this. We'll see yes, how it goes. And, and as, you, as you noted, they've been around maybe as long as that Mae Young Classic, this Burst and Lorcan tag team. And they've always been a very, very fun tag team to watch that seemed like they had done everything as a tag team they were going to do. They were not going to be big, giant. Uh, uh, you're not going to build the show around Danny Burst and Only Lorcan. But you have them do the work in, and Pat McAfee is there, is there as the character and the mouthpiece of Dry Heat. That's a perfect combo right there. And they can do a six-man. He, he can get involved. Dude, they he can should... do a ton of six-mans. You do yes. the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, and... I mean, that's the obvious one, because they beat they'll, up... They'll build to that, yeah. I mean, they beat up... Uh, who was it? Bobby Fish and uh, Roderick well, Strong. They, so they, Fish, they... Strong, and Cole are all guys that have been beaten up. Although, it wasn't supposed to be. I mean, it was Ridge Holland that beat up Adam Cole, but they can yes. easily switch the heat to Pat well, McAfee. Pat McAfee comes out next week and says, I paid off Ridge Holland, and now... He did his job, and I'm done with him. That, that's that's right true, because they did they did make it clear that Ridge Holland got paid off. Yes. And I thought that it was going to be the other members of the Undisputed Era. Yeah. But in storyline, Pat McAfee should have the money to pay off Ridge Holland. Yes, yes. And he would want someone to take out Adam Cole. So it mm -hmm. actually all makes perfect sense. Yes, it does. Big so, fan. That all makes sense, and they, they can... They can Keep undisputed era together. They can say, you know, the, 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 the these attacks were works, and 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 fish and strong can still turn and join Pat McAfee, and they can be the singles guys and Burst Lorcan can be the tag. There's a million ways they can go here, and they're all good, and it's all fresh for a program that had gotten pretty dang stale over the past couple of months. So that's all good stuff. Pretty good episode of NXT.